running on a cleaner grid, making and, in and inventing the technology that's going to power the future. The rules are meant to ensure that EU-produced electric cars are largely made from locally sourced parts. But manufacturers on both sides of the channel say they are not ready. The European Automobile Manufacturers Association ACEA, also warned the measures could reduce output from EU factories by 480,000 vehicles. And they said customers would pay the price. The main problem lies in so-called rules of origin which come into force in January. They apply to shipments of cars across the channel under the terms of the Brexit deal, the UK-EU Trade and Cooperation Agreement. They will effectively ensure that electric vehicles will need to have batteries produced in either the UK or the EU. But because battery production in Europe has not ramped up as quickly as expected, car makers are struggling to meet the new criteria. The UK is by far their largest export market, with 1.2 million vehicles arriving at UK ports last year. Likewise more cars built in the UK are transported to the EU than any other region. Steep tariffs could make electric cars more expensive to produce, and potentially push up prices. The ASEA wants the new rules to be delayed for three years, and it is appealing to the European Commission to take action. Driving up consumer prices of European electric vehicles is not the right move, said Renault Chief Executive Luca de Meu, who is also acting as ASEA's president. We will effectively be handing a chunk of the market to global manufacturers, he added. For the rules to be pushed back, an agreement would need to be reached between the UK and the EU. The UK's business secretary, Kemi Badenoch, said last week she was optimistic such a deal could be reached. But in an interview with The Guardian on Friday, the EU's internal market commissioner Thierry Breton was much less forthcoming. He said it would be wrong to reopen the Brexit deal to satisfy the motor industry. If something has been negotiated, it shouldn't be changed, he told the newspaper. The European Commission said, Brexit has changed the trade relationship between the UK and the EU, among other things. Trade officials from the EU and the UK are due to meet this week in London. It is not yet known whether the new rules will be on the agenda. In fact, this situation is so incredibly favorable for EV manufacturers in North America, such as Rivian and Tesla that I believe. American automakers are actually in a bit of trouble, not just American ones, but probably even more so Japanese automakers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. General Motors used to, well, they used to love the US government. They used to say lots of positive things. Obviously, Mary and Joe Biden were having an affair secretly on the side. If you haven't heard about that, check out my video showing, I'm joking. That never happened. Just made that up, but I'm just making a bit of a funny reference to when Joe Biden said, Mary, you did it, Mary. You electrified the world. Well, now General Motors are very angry about Joe Biden's EV proposition. They say that it's going to really hurt them. It's going to be really bad for them. And they're very concerned. Should they be concerned? Absolutely they should be. Their EV plans are not going to plan, and I don't think they will. I mean, I love General Motors plans. They're great. If GM can carry out their plans, they'll be everything will be okay. Clearly, General Motors are not confident that they can carry out their plans. If they were, they wouldn't be saying what they're saying. They're saying, General Motors are in fact warning that you. S. Emissions rules will cost the industry at least 100 billion in penalties. The Biden administration says, Mary, you electrified the industry, you electrified the world but now you're wrong. Kind of ironic. NHTSA will release its proposal to hike cafe requirements for 2027 and beyond on Friday. 
Reuters reported that GM estimated the automotive industry as a whole could face 100 billion to 300 billion 300 billion in total penalties from 2027 to 2031. I really honestly think if GM were confident in their plans, facing tens of billions of dollars worth of fines, 2027 to 2031, I mean, surely by 2030 GM will be selling predominantly EVs, right? Nah, maybe GM aren't so confident in carrying their plans out. Otherwise, they wouldn't be saying what they're saying. That's what I think, guys. If you disagree with that, I think that's the only logical conclusion to draw here. However, maybe I'm missing something. I mean, I try to read between the lines. That's part of the point of this channel. Not just to share the news with you, but also to read between the lines. And that's what I'm reading. General Motors has warned the Biden administration that it's going to cause GM a lot of pain. Now it's also probably not too happy that Ford just got a loan of what was it? About 9 billion US dollars from the government, but GM only got a loan of 2 billion. That's not fair. I mean, come on, that's a 7 billion difference. Maybe they're a bit sad about that too. I don't know. GM executive David Strickland met on July the 17th with White House Office of Management budget officials about the administration's vehicle fuel economy proposal, according to a slide on a White House website. At the meeting, GM estimated the automotive industry as a whole could face 100 billion to 300 billion in penalties, or 1, 300 to 4, 300 per car from 2027 to 2031. Now if that were true, let's go with an in-between figure. Let's just go with, um, say two and a half thousand. Well, EVs are getting a 7, 500 tax credit, right? Plus, you get around to, oh, 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 for the batteries that automakers do if they're made in the US that's 9, 500. Plus, if you're paying to, 500 for your penalties for selling a gas vehicle, that means that 12, oh, oh, oh in front. Basically, the government is taking away money from gas guzzlers and cars that pollute and giving it to a new technology. I think that's a good idea. I like it. People, people often say, oh, you know, EV incentives. So it's been signed off. GM obviously have had this meeting. I know Toyota and Stellantis have also tried to get the Biden administration to not go through this plan, but the Biden administration have signed off. Hey, kudos to you guys. Kudos to you. Obviously the unions would be part of this. I'm just doing it anyway. So I've got to say big credit for that. A Biden administration official said under one scenario. And there you have it. But before you go please hit the like. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss our next uploaded video. And we see you next time.